Hello everyone, Shannon here. Now it's been a long time ever since I had time to soak here in the, in the hot springs and play with my cats and stuff. Well, this episode will be easy, so let's just get on with it. We're gonna fight the great Shaggy as soon as I get up. Get up, okay. Uh, I got a few more drinks now. Now, the thing that I found out is that every single one of these effects that you can see activated skill except for the first and those that say skill set they've they're random so I usually search for drinks if anyone has feline explorer since none of them has I'll just go with this one whoa a lot of skills okay it's useless useless Okay, useless skills except for attack medium. Now this is a familiar looking long sword. Mm, here we go. It's the twin fire weaver and it even has the same name as the one in tree. Crap! I hate it when this happens. I never realize I'm on the top of that place. Well, anyway, let's go look for him. The thing about this sword is that it's one of the most used swords in Monster Hunter 3. I remember using it for a long, long time against Lagi Arcus, lots of Royal Looter of Poning and stuff. Now, I've had it here, I haven't really used it a lot. I currently have better weapons, although none of them is long sword. I just want to take this one out of the closet and show it off. Now let's just see where that stingy guy is. We see when this will happen to be in the village. In the n no, what's this called again? Oh, the desert, the deserted island, or desert island or something. Play so many hours of three and three and three. I still don't know the name of this freaking place. Probably because it's the island exactly here you are oh, that's just unfair <laughs> okay this is already being a huge fail but anyway my skills right now are evade plus one concentration so my spirit bar goes up very fast other than that, I don't think I have anything useful. I think this up and speed sharpening. Very useful, in fact. I am effect up means that stuff like power, power seeds and health seeds last longer. Don't really use them a lot, except if it's a really hard fight, where which I know I'm gonna have problem with. Nothing I've ever had so far in this game. Game seems to be overall easier than compared with Freedom Unite. Probably because of all the experience I've playing in the other games, but still, still seems a lot easier. Come on, leave my cats alone. Just do this before I forget it. It's not really a good idea since I can't see the spirits bar, but since I have an idea of where it is, shut up. Let me see if I can g kill this guy really fast. Maybe I'll have time to kill a Bulldrome and put it in this episode. That'd be nice, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen or not. I hate that double shoulder thing. Let's do that, that move sometimes in two in a row. This one not a surprise after he does it once, you should be expecting a second attempt. See, what did I say? Whoa, now he's been doing that a lot. 
Thank you. Who are you again? Crucius. Oh, really? If I can't see the bar, I can't see the name of my cat. Now that's funny. I already knew that one was gonna fail, but still. I'm ready. What did it, what just hit me? No! This guy's gonna run away. Oh. Whoa, this is nice. Just stay there and die. So, you ready to drop that? <laughs> Seriously? Do you really have no sense of tactic? You just stay there and eat while you're getting pwned? Okay, guess you're done for. Well, everyone, I'll see you back in a minute. So, d don't worry, I'll be putting a maybe another monster in this episode. So, see you next. Next monster. Next monster or whatever. I'll just go back there and get ready for the next guy. Okay, and when we're back here, so let's go after now the Boldrome. I'm gonna try to do this guy in the same order I did the low level. Getting ready. Now, whoa, secret area, nice. This time I'm not leaving this place. Until I've mined. So, two things you may have noticed, number one is that I've changed my weapon, so now I'm currently using dual swords. The dual swords, and I'm going to talk about it later, so... The second thing is that my armor, although it has the same... looks the same as the one I just used, it, from, compared to the previous episode, I've changed its color. If you remember or if you check out the other episode, you see that that one's orange and this one's yellow and this guy's right... What?! Ooh, supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one fight, you dumbass. Get out. I mean, how bad luck... How bad is my luck? Oh, really? Now, the dual sword, in my opinion, is the only weapon uh, that I don't like in this game. I mean, uh, never mind what I just said, since I completely hate the sword and shield and... Uh, the spear, I'm just saying this weapon that I think could have had great potential, but I don't like the way they put the um, the whole things. Damn it. The, it's just useless the way they placed it. Now, first off, you when you activate your demon form, your demonization or whatever, uh, you can stack attacks in that gauge just like if it was a long sword. And it fills that one up. So when it's up, you get uh, just like just like a normal long sword. You get affinity boost. No, not affinity boost. The uh, sharpening boost. And you get <laughs> close one. And you get the other thing. Which that you get attack boost and the sh sharpen the fencing boost. That's it. The attacks can pierce better, but it's just not worth it because the bar goes down. And what I hate the most is that when you have that bar, each time you, damn it, each time you try to dodge. Now while in demonized, let me show you. See, it does that little thing. That's it's really annoying. Not only does it consume the bar, it also it's virtually useless in terms of distance, travel and stuff. So still if you have no stamina you cannot jump just using that bar. That's why I consider it to be utterly useless. I mean if they wanted it to be usable, what they should have done was either make when you have the full bar give you unlimited stamina so you can last your demonized form better or you can make that jumping consumes the the red bar instead of the stamina but consuming both that's just stupid I really don't know where their minds were when they came up with this 
I also noticed that compared to the free immunite, he also seems to have less damage. And why am I attacking this guy if I'm not gonna kill him? I don't have enough time to kill him. I already killed the great Shaggy in this episode, so... Ah, finally, this is what I wanted. Don't you... Ah, for a era, Farty was gonna leave. Now, this is the attack that he has in high level that he doesn't didn't have in low level. He's gonna, he's gonna use it again, don't worry. That was a big fail because he ended up in the end of the area. Next time I won't be so lucky. Now this is lucky, getting all these strikes here. Now, you can run away as long as you don't go to where the, the Royal Ludroff is. That's a good boy. Now they're in completely different areas, so I'm happy right now. So I have about 4 minutes to pwn this guy. Eh, no big problem. Maybe a little problem, but still. And if you've seen mid combos, you also do that dash thing consuming the stamina. It does that jump as long as you have you, don't, you have the tool swords out, you don't really need to be in demonized form to do it. <laughs> Fell right there. I've tried to do a mission which is this particular set of dual swords, it's the Hurricane, an improved form of the last dual sword I used on on episode, if I'm not mistaken it was a dual tomahawk plus or just a dual, plain old dual tomahawk, this is one of the other episodes and after upgrading it with high level materials, among which carbolite ore, it ended up like this. It says it. I mean, it looks good, and you think it's going to do a lot of damage, but it doesn't. Just weak. Although it's high level, and I only have two high level weapons right now, which I've already shown you. It's this one and the other ones that switch I just used last episode. Whoa, got a bit lucky here. Look at the way this guy just keeps falling over. No, he's planning on running away. Come on, do your special move, I wanna show it to everyone. If this guy dies without doing his special move, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Oh. Let me get rid of this guy here, he's annoying me. Oh, and that guy... That, I'm I, I'm gonna kill that Lulurp if he wasn't already dead. He just gave me the water stuff all over me. Uh, and here's his special move. He just jumps around and around and around. Sometimes he, he does it longer than this one. <sighs> Keep forgetting about that second part. Now just be a good bull and play that. If you don't, I'm just gonna have to stab you with all sorts of flags and stuff as if we're in, in Spain. As if, as if you were a, a bull, actually. You are a bull drum, so... Well, everyone might manage to keep it tight, so... This episode wasn't too long and it already condensed what was supposed to be two episodes. I don't really, I don't really care if I have a number of episodes to follow or not, as long as I show everyone. Strongest so bull drum, nothing annoying. You should, you should, they really shouldn't put just these low life guys in high level quests. They really aren't gonna make it. Well everyone, hope you enjoyed. Still haven't fully upgraded this set or anything. I know I could've done a, a lot better thing with this. Take up the guard and speed setup, but I don't really want to use traps. I don't really feel like using traps at all. And guard isn't really annoying me since I'm not using any guards and weapons that can guard it against. You can guard with, I mean. So, everyone, hope you enjoy. This channel here saying goodbye, and I just realized I forgot to do this. Crap. Bye.